Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Boy Kim. Welcome back to another video. And as you guys can see by the thumbnail and the title, we are going to be rating my viewers' teams. Now, I've done this before last FIFA and people actually did enjoy it. So, I'm going to be doing it again. I'm going to be rating everyone's teams during Team of the Year. And uh, yeah, there are some crazy, crazy teams going on. So trust me, guys, you don't want to miss out. But before I get into this video, I want to get, I want to, I just want to show my appreciation quickly, guys. We have just jumped from 2,300 subscribers all the way up to 2,600 subscribers within a week. Now, I've never really had this growth before um, on my channel within a short amount of time. Like within a one week, we grew about 300 to 400 subscribers, and I can't thank you guys enough. So honestly, guys, thank you so much. For supporting me every single day i've been streaming a lot recently i've been doing a lot of videos and whatnot so i appreciate that my hard work obviously I'm, I'm very very happy that my hard work is paying off but obviously we're just getting started this is just the start of something and we're going to keep on going but guys if you want to if you're watching this video and you want your team to get rated then you can send me your team via my playstation which is on the screen or you can send it on my twitter Either one works well, and we can, you know, do some, uh, you know, some some team reviews on there. But first and foremost, this is my team here, guys. I want you guys as a little as a little task. I want you guys. I'm talking like a little teacher, but I want you guys to rate my team. Okay, I want you guys to see my team here, and in the comment section down below, I want you guys to rate it between one to ten. So, guys, remember these are my viewers, right? These are the people that mess with me. They watch me all the time, and uh, yeah. So we got the first team here, right? And this one here, we have Smolarek, we have Vola, we have Forlan, which is a good attack. Um, the midfield, Kante and Valverde is good as well. I like the defence. I don't really like Puyo, but I like the centre-backs and I like the left-back. Um, Salah's not bad as well. But yeah, overall, I think the attack is good. I think the midfield is okay, but I think it needs a bit of upgrading, to be honest. I think having these type of midfielders, gold midfielders, in this time of the year is kind of, I don't know, it's a bit tough. And the defence is really, really good. I really like the defence, but obviously, like I said, the right back. Um, but overall, I'm going to rate this team here. I'm going to rate this team maybe like a, like a 7.5. I think, like I said, the midfield needs to change and the right back needs to change. I think the rest of the team is pretty good as it is. So I'm going to give this one an, a 7 out of 10 or 7.5 out of 10, guys. Here, Emil, he's been a big support of the stream, so shout out to Emil. And uh, yeah, this is his team here, chat, or oh, guys. Um, very, very good defense. I think Nesta is obviously the weak link, um, but everyone else is very good. Midfield, Vieira and Renato Sanchez. To be fair, Renato Sanchez is still very good in game because just of how he is in game with the body type and obviously his stats. Vieira is the best DM in this game. And that attack is literally, it doesn't get much better than that attack. Maybe uh, Neymar might be a little bit outdated. But other than that, you know, you can really, um, you can really still use Neymar, to be honest. I think overall, overall, I'll give this, I'll give this team like a, I'll give it an 8. I'll give this a strong 8. Like, no, strong 8.5. The attack is very, very good. The midfield is good as well. It's just literally Nesta and... Um, yeah, maybe just Nesta. I think overall an 8.5 out of 10. I think this is a good team. This is a good team. I'm not really a big fan of Maldini, guys. But Maldini does work for a lot of people. Alright, so we have another team by um, another subscriber, Tilly. Um, they said that they have Dalglish. As Bale as their striker and they have 500k and they're looking for suggestions okay so here we have a very strong team they play Bale and Dalglish so they sub in Bale and Dalglish every single game in champs um, and they have 500k to spend so already I'm just gonna say this straight off the bat this is a very very good team defense is amazing midfield is amazing attack is okay um, but yeah, like you said, you're subbing in Bale and Dalglish. In my opinion, I think you should leave Dalglish on the bench. I think you should buy, or, or should, sorry, you should sub in Bale, which is fine. However, you should take off the other striker. So if you're going to sub in Bale for Moise Keen, I think you should get rid of Origi and you should get a different attacker. Maybe um, a, a, a hero Di Natale, maybe a hero uh, Smolarek, World Cup hero Smolarek, or World Cup hero Bl Brolin. Those are my three suggestions. They are all around 500k mark as well. So those are my suggestions. Um, but overall, guys, this is a very good team. I like that defense a lot. That defense is probably the best part of the team. 
Also, the midfield is very good as well. Mid Vieira is a little bit slow these days, but he's got Saeed and he's got Dirk Kout, who's very good as well. So, overall, guys, I think this team is a 9 out of 10. I think if he just adds um, the Smolarek or the Brolin or the Di Natale, I think he will increase into you know a 9.5 out of 10. I think it's a very good team, though. I really like this team. And obviously, people are going to be thinking, why are you rating a 9.5 out of 10? Normally, a very, very, very crazy team would be like a 10 out of 10. But... You know, like, I'm judging off creativity, obviously players in each position, and, you know, just how the team looks in general. I think this team looks very, very nice. So I'm definitely going to rate a 9 out of 10 for now. It's a very good team. I think it's a very nice one. And straight off the bat, I'm seeing a lot of gold players. Obviously, we have gold Mbappe and we have gold Neymar. I think they are very good still in this game. Uh, Ribery has a bit low agility. I don't know. Um, I tried him before and he was actually pretty good. Erdegaard, maybe you can try upgrade to the player of the month, Erdegaard, if you really like him. If not, then you can might, you might as well just keep him. Um, but yeah, uh, he's got Saeed Alawayran on the wing, which is very good as well. Uh, defense is very good. However, I think it might be a little bit outdated. Joe Gomez might be a little bit outdated. Gold Hakimi might be a little bit outdated. And also uh, Inform Noon Mench. So I think definitely work on the defense. I think the attack is very good. Obviously, he pl probably plays a 4 triple 2 in game. Um, so yeah, the attack is very good. I don't think there's any problem with the attack whatsoever at the moment. Uh, the midfield, I don't think Erdogan will be a good box to box to box. He doesn't really have the best defensive and physical stats. So you might want to try and replace Erdogan and get someone more box to box orientated. But um, yeah, overall, I'm going to rate this team a 7.5. I think, like I said, the attack is very good. The defense is good, but it could be way better. And the midfield is a little bit weak in my opinion. But yeah, I'll give this a 7.5 out of 10. And uh, shout out to Jalen. He's always in the stream, so I appreciate the love. Now, Finis, another one who's always, always in the chat, guys. Make sure if you guys haven't seen my streams, make sure you turn on post notifications because we do go live very, very often. So make sure you guys are tuning in. But yeah, this is the team here. It might be a little bit difficult for you guys to see, but he's got he's got Vardy, he's got Foden World Cup, and he's got Inform Salah. I think it's a good attack. I'm not a big fan of Vardy, in my opinion, but Foden and Salah are very good options, 100%. Um, Mares is a very good option as well. However, the midfield is the biggest issue for me. I think Thiago and Erdegaard is not good enough. I think you need a defensive presence. They're both very small, very weak, and they're not even defensive-minded at all. So I think you might need to get a defensive-oriented player, maybe a Chabi Alonso, for example, uh, do up his SBC, maybe get try and get a Paul Pogba SBC going, but obviously you have a full Prem team, so that might not work. But yeah, I'd say maybe do a Chabi Alonso um, SBC, and you can try and put him in instead of one of the other options. Uh, the defense is not bad. Trippier is good. Van Dijk is good. Martinez is good. Milner is a bit slow. You might want to replace him. Maybe try and get that uh, winter wildcard Robertson. And center back uh, Mascherano. I think he's a little bit slow. I think you might have to try and upgrade that as well. But um, yeah, overall, I'm going to give this team a 7.5 out of 10. I think I really like the creativity. Um, but honestly, the players need to improve, especially in the midfield. I think the midfield... And Mascherano and Milner are the biggest weak points in this team. And the team may be a little bit slow, to be honest. Um, but the attack is very fast. So the attack is very good, but the rest is a little bit on the downside, to be honest. But yeah, I'll rate that one a 7.5 out of 10. Three different names, you confuse me. But Nick, he's always in the streams as well. I appreciate all of the support from Nick. And this is his team. So he's got a very good defense. Very, very good defense. Um... I think Desai is one of the most underrated centre backs in this game. I absolutely love him. Cordoba's a little bit small. Zambrotta's good. Um, Yashin's good. Fia Hanan is very good as well. Hulit and Tanali is very good as well. Very, very solid midfield. And the attack with Di Maria, um, Di Maria, Sanchez, Pele, and Garincha. It's a very good team, guys. I'm definitely rating this one a 9.5 out of 10 overall. I think you can't really improve much else, to be honest. Maybe just uh, um, the attack is pretty much perfect already. You don't really need anything else unless you get better versions of those cards, um, such as like the Prime Garincha or Prime Pele, for example. Um, midfield is very good. Obviously, try to work towards the mid Hulip, but still, nonetheless, a very good midfield. And the defense, like I said, the defense is very strong as well. I think maybe work towards Lucio um, or maybe even Tomori. I think Tomori is a good option for you as well. You get the uh, AC Milan links with Fia Hernandez and Tanali. So yeah, I'd say Tamori would be a very good option for defense. 
But overall, like I said, 9.5 out of 10. I think the only issue might be Cordoba. Um, I think Cordoba is just a little bit small for this game. But everything else is very good. Very, very good team. 9.5 out of 10 easily. Now, on to the next team, guys. We have this team here. And speaking of Tomori, he has him. This is sent in by our good friend, Kim Pem Goat. And he says this team is not great. However, I strongly disagree. I think this team is amazing. Um... Larice is obviously the weak point in this team, in my opinion. Hernandez is good. Quadrado is good. However, this version is not good. You need to get the moments, but obviously he's gone. He was an SPC. Center back duo is very, very good as well. I think this is a very solid center back duo. Uh, like I said, me personally, I'm not a fan of Maldini, but a lot of people do like Maldini. Um, Mateus and Pogba, which is very, very strong midfield indeed. I've, I really like the midfield. And the attack is very good with Puskas, Pele, Di Maria and Dembele. Unfortunately, you, you still have the gold. You might need to try and upgrade this Dembele sometime. Or even try to sub in Bale and Smolarek when you have the chance to. Um, but yeah, guys. Overall, I'll rate this team a nice 8.5 out of 10. I think you just need to try and upgrade Larice. You need to try and upgrade Quadrado and try and upgrade Dembele. But I, overall... 8.5 out of 10, very solid. The midfield is very good. The centre back duo are very good. The strikers are very good. Di Maria is very good. Yeah, like I said, it's just it's just the it's just the weak links here with the gold cards, to be honest. And um, yeah, by the way, Fia Hernandez is still a very good gold card. So just because he's in the team doesn't mean anything. So I definitely read that 8.5 out of 10. And the last squad, guys, for today. We have more squads as well. Guys, if we have not done your squad, be sure to send through on Twitter and on my PSN as well. Trust me, guys. You don't want to miss out. This is a very good team. Um, this team here is absolutely disgusting. This is my real life friend um, and also supports the channel as well. But yeah, this is a very good team. He's got checking goal, uh, Acuna. He's got Bay. He's got Maldini and Quadrado. Again, very good defense. However, I think Acuna is just a little bit slow for this time of the year. And Bailly is not exactly as good as um, Tomori, Van Dijk, um, you know, Lucio. Just players like that. Um, but yeah, midfield is very good. Pogba and Yaya Torre. I think it doesn't get much better than that, to be honest. And the attack, like I said, doesn't get much better than that as well. He's got Ginola, Garincha, um, you know, Said Alawiron and Pele as well. I think the mid attack is literally like it doesn't get it doesn't get better than that. Honestly, guys, it's so good. Um, but yeah, I rate this team a nine point five out of ten. Like I said already, I think my two problems is Bai and Acuna. If you can try and get Lucio, and if you can get like Theo Hernandez or something like that, I think your team will literally be ten out of ten perfect team. Does not get much better than that. Like honestly, let's, it doesn't get better than that. If you get Lucio or even Tomori here, and if you get Theo Hernandez here. It, it literally does not get better than that. It's literally the best, it's like one of the best teams in the whole FIFA, apart from obviously the pro players and the credit card of C players. This whole team is untradeable as well, guys. So it's a very good team. Definitely a 9.5 out of 10. And uh, yeah, so that is definitely it. Guys, like I said twice already, if you guys want your squad to be rated, then be sure to send it through to my PSN or my Twitter. And uh, yeah, we're definitely going to do a part two for this video. So if you guys, obviously, like I said, um, have any teams for me to review then definitely do so and uh, yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy this video please do like and subscribe if you are new and i appreciate all of the support guys and peace